Hey everyone and welcome. Uh, <clears throat> hey everyone, better late than never. Uh, Iowa race two highlights. Race one was pretty short, so welcome in the cold finger. Let's go racing. Uh, here we go to the ra race start. <clears throat> Missed time a little bit. The first troll application a bit early and a little bit late on the second one, but got a really really good uh, turn one using the outside line and, and going up to all the way up to Augustine. That was starting P10. I was P16, trying the outside line in turn one here. Uh, not confident enough to carry enough speed um, so try again to the worst turn one and two that worked well on lap one uh, but again just taking it a little bit steady you know when when the race one lasted about 300 feet you're trying just to, to be a bit more caref careful but uh, also learning from what I saw from Joseph doing so outside in turn two seems to be okay-ish not great but okay-ish uh, but I've seen him trying big outside move in turn one the previous lap so uh, doing kind of the same thing here keeping my front wing clean having a really good exit using the hybrid system there and getting to uh, one of the MSR car um, again trying the outside line to keep the, the front wing clear it's a little bit slower but I don't know I felt comfortable about it uh, I felt good about it and uh, and that's what I was using. So uh, probably uh, that first stage of the race we probably used a little bit too much fuel um, and uh, and pushed a little bit too hard. So yeah, again, you know, here we go having a really really good exit uh, just because using more fuel and, and sending it through inside. You can see how the car is bottoming and and moving uh, and the rear is moving and you know uh, on the exit keeping him uh, giving him plenty of space and on the right hand side you can see he's coming back slightly. Uh, but he's having that washout issue that I was having on, on the exit. So then, uh, then going to one, towards turn one and and behind your garden is always a good one photo for sure. Um, you know, um, it's got a lot of experience. Uh, start of a novel, it's always it's always interesting. You start a new tar, they're fairly cold when you start the the race, um, and then you go. So depending on you feel the car can be good or bad, and then you go through. Um, another phase uh, where you've pushed hard on tires and need to cool down a bit before you go back to uh, your rhythm you also try to judge if the you know inside line or outside line of what works best and how you can actually get momentum on the car in front of you that's what I'm trying to do here with with Joseph uh, burning a bit bit more fuel than, than we should have uh, obviously you know bottom line you you're stuck behind so you can't really pass so I'm trying to see how I can you know use kind of the outside line to get the momentum going or, or time the run uh, but not not so easy uh, not so easy quite a bit of bottoming on the car as well uh, may have been aggressive on the on the right eye but uh, I like that so yeah just trying to stay behind him trying to create that momentum going uh, trying now to you know calm things down and, and get uh, get the tires under control and uh, get the car under control and, and your fuel mileage and, and everything but yeah that outside line i've been trying a couple of times just not a great idea uh, I, I love it i'm gonna be honest the outside line is where i feel comfortable on the oval but um, sometimes it doesn't work so just have to uh, just have to live with it and, and and do what you can with it um but yeah just you know trying to find my way around trying to find my way through here uh but just have, have to settle down and, and and wait for, for it so lap 97 uh, yeah it's not all, every other day that you see 97 lap stints so coming into the pit that's a tricky pit entry uh, very bumpy very slippery tarmac um, you don't want to lose the car here and then you try straightening it straight out straightening it up uh, to, to get to the pit entry and pit speed limiter see front left locking that's normal there's a lot less weight on the front left than there is on the front right called cross weight on ovals uh, to stabilize the car and the boys have been on it this year. Honestly, the, the boys have been really good at pit stop. Uh, I'm not worried at all when we go to the pit. I know we're gonna, you know, gain position and gain sequences and and big slide on exit, uh, big wheel spin uh, coming back behind. I think 27. Uh, Kirkwood, don't cut that line too much. You're gonna get spinning vi uh, violation if you, if you go too much on the apex here, because of course it's a distance versus uh, a time. So your speed is, is gonna be too fast, even if you're not going too fast. If you cut that corner, uh, going back into the cold tires, just take it a little bit easy. In the first time you go around, uh, you don't want to go wide. You don't want to go to the marble. You know you don't know much grip there on those new tires, and then you just you know getting the grip here a bit a bit too much. Understand that instance, but um, 
getting back into it and, and getting the rhythm back and going through some fast lap times just to um, yeah to make the most of those new tires and All right, restart uh, and look at how <laughs> early the car in front of me went massively jumped the restart big time. Didn't get penalized for it, but got lucky because that was a big, big uh, jump of the restart. So same thing again with Joseph. He's, he's very good trying the outside line, but you, you, you see how he's washing out, how much is the momentum he's losing towards the exit of the corner. Whereas I'm carrying the momentum here on the exit. I think it's Catherine Leg in front of me, and I'm gonna try to use her uh, to my advantage. You know, she's been slowing down a little bit, Joseph on the outside, so I'm trying here. Going in the going in the inside, sending it, and uh, Joseph coming back in and you know jumping back in front of me uh, to, to get me dirtier, but still trying to get a good exit. So wheel to wheel action with a two-time Indy 500 winner. It's always exciting. You now I'm stuck a little bit on the bottom. He's, he's actually cutting it down short here, so hard because that puts a lot of dirt here on my front wing when we uh, when we don't want it to be uh, to be dirty. So uh, yeah, uh, trying to. Uh, Build again the momentum, um, trying to find my way around him, uh, trying to see how I can use that. You know, call the tires. Here we go outside of turn two. Really good momentum going into turn one. I think it's kind of, yeah, here we go. Turn one. Ah, I was a bit too conservative on entry, lost momentum on exit. I have to rebuild everything again. So it's just finding that right middle spot between being engaged not doing too much right in, in that instance i think i should have kept my foot pin in it for a little bit longer but it doesn't really matter here we go we go again um not this time a little bit too far trying to be a little bit more on the high line. look at that doesn't work doesn't want to turn on the second part of the corner really annoying um because that's where you want to be to, you know carry the momentum carry the speed keep your front wing clear in, in clear and so on and so forth so yeah not so easy now you watch pass um but I think next year is going to be a lot better anyway. Uh, so yeah, still fighting with Joseph, still trying to find my way around him. Trying to time, you know, the run, trying to go early on throttle. You can see the car is a little bit loose on entry, pretty good on exit. Uh, a little bit fire, trying to go, is kind of reacting to my move and I have a massive moment from, you know, not being exactly where I want to be on track. And same thing again, I have to rebuild the momentum, I have to retry again. Um, so not not easy. Uh, you don't want to mess up too often because you know it's it's hard to come back. It's really really hard to get back at it and, and find a way and, and find the speed and and get the confidence back in the car. You know when you have a moment, it takes a couple of laps to uh, change it. But look, yeah, front. Uh, you can see my right hand went down. Change the front bar, front roll bar. No idea if I went soft or stiffer. Uh, but what I did was pretty well in turn three and four. Now I'm having a really big momentum to going to turn one. And I'm not gonna let it this time, but look how tight that gap was. I mean, that is far too close for comfort. Uh, but getting getting through here, back to uh, Kirkwood that uh, was ahead of us at the last restart, but uh, kind of uh, went from the early side. So uh, back behind him and uh, you know, into the groove. Uh, car felt amazing at that point, uh, really trying as much as I could to make my way through. Um, so here we are behind Kyle uh, and I think I'm gonna try so here we are um, you know opening a little bit the exit working well you can see that car starts uh, late and turns in early so I'm like okay I'm gonna try to use that to my advantage but um, yeah I think it's not gonna pay off uh, in a couple of, right now in a couple of laps here we are trying to get the outside line to work and Look at that front end just washes out, you lose the momentum and uh, by the end of the straight Santino Ferrucci will be right here on my inside so that didn't work um, and then I was first uh, yeah first row to see some good action uh, in between Carl and Ferrucci we'll see that there's, there's smoke coming they made contact about two or three times in the next uh, in the next two laps so uh, just uh, just look at that so Santino going in the inside and, and Kyle trying to stay there uh, first contact right there I think and then they're gonna have another one a little bit later so same thing Santino being on the on the low line uh, opening a little bit here yeah you can, you can see smoke coming out so that's number two and then we're going back to turn one so I'm like I'm staying a little bit back just you know relaxing and, and 
seeing if I can get two spot ED. Look at that, not, not a big one. I remember my spotter telling me, stay away from those two, it's not gonna end up nicely. So just took it a little bit carefully here and uh, finally it settles down, but uh, that was quite something. Um, that was quite something to watch and uh, you know, a bit of traffic here. Uh, of course, the back markers on, on a, what was it, 20 second lap time. You're gonna catch them very soon, so um, yeah. You don't want to lose time behind them, but you also don't want to take too much risk. So it's kind of a fine line, fine balance in between attacking and, and making sure that you don't lose too much time. So big battle for Ferrucci. I'm just trying to take the pieces as it did with me early on, uh, but right now it's uh, you know not quite uh, working as well as uh, as I would like. So it's all about you know, saving fuel and, and getting in there and having good exits and not being passed and, and being patient uh, not what I like but sometimes it's just the way it is so um, yeah uh, you know when we have two lanes it's, it's a lot nicer than when it's down to one but it's not something that we control all the time Oh, talking of back markers, I think that's when it gets a little bit airy on that one. Um, behind VK, that's behind Armstrong, and VK is going down the main straight, and I'm going for it as well. And it got super close. It got super close. I think Armstrong was a few laps down, and yeah, uh, I didn't want to lose time momentum, but it was it was tight. And uh, I think that's the end of the race. Sorry for the quality of the camera, but yeah, that's the big shot in front of me. Uh, Stingray Rob and Rossi and, and Kirkwood. And, it was quite something to finish the race, but uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the debrief and I'll see you very soon.